Greetings, fellow mathematicians. For this problem, we're going to take a look at how to combine substitution with definite integrals. Now, it's really not that complicated. We're just going to use the substitution to change our limits from x limits to new u limits. Everything from before, how to choose your substitution, still applies. Now, here, we don't necessarily have an obvious inner function, but let's keep in mind you might want to choose u so that way its derivative is a factor. And if we keep in mind here, when we differentiate x cubed, the derivative will give us an x squared. So let's try u as the denominator x cubed plus 1. All right, calculate your differential as usual. du is going to come out to be 3x squared dx. All right, to do the conversion, while we have a factor of x squared, we don't have a factor of 3. We're all pros at this point. Divide the 3 over to get 1 third du equals x squared dx. The last part, which I always advocate, again, when you're doing a substitution with a definite integral, an integral that has a lower and upper limit there, Use your substitution to change or convert from x limits to u limits. And we're just going to make a simple conversion chart. Originally here, our x limits are 1 and 2. And we just use our substitution, u as x cubed plus 1, to convert to new u limits. And we do that just by plugging in our values for x. So if we plug in x is 1, we should get here 1 cubed, 1 plus 1. That should come out to 2. And if you plug 2 in for x, 2 cubed, 8 plus 1, should give us 9. So we have x limits 1 to 2, but u limits 2 to 9. If you convert the limits like we are here, you never have to back substitute u in terms of x which is why I like this, especially it leads you to other ideas you'll see possibly in multivariable calculus. All right, so let's do the conversion. Our integral here converts from x to now a u integral. We're using our new limits, 2 to 9. All right, x squared dx, that gives us a factor of 1 third du. And notice we have 1 over x cubed plus 1, which we can write as 1 over u. All right, and this antiderivative, again, we can't apply the power rule since that can be written as u to the negative 1, but the antiderivative is just a simple natural log. So we get this coming out to 1 third, the constant multiple, times natural log of absolute value of u. And now we just evaluate that at our new u limits 2 to 9. So we're going to plug in, basically using the fundamental theorem of calculus, plug in u as 9, and then subtract when you plug in u as 2. So if we do that, we'll get 1 third natural log of 9 minus 1 third natural log of 2. And that is an acceptable answer. So we can put a box around that. And we are done if you want to be. Now, you might see this written a little bit differently. First, you can factor 1 third out from both terms. You could have done that right from the beginning. So you could write this now as 1 third times natural log of 9 minus natural log of 2. And if you want to, now since we have a difference of logarithms, you can apply one of your basic properties of logarithms backwards. A difference of logarithms can be expressed as a logarithm of a quotient or a fraction. So this inside here, you can write that as natural log of 9 over 2. So your answer here, you could write it as 1 third times natural log of 9 over 2. 
And that is another acceptable answer. And that's it. Again, I want to emphasize, if you have a definite integral, like here, an integral from 1 to 2, and you use a substitution, really simple, use your substitution to convert the limits. And at this step, you do not have to back substitute u in terms of your substitution. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe.